Hey, water signs, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for December the 27th, 2019. Okay. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, Cancer, we have Goddess of Shadows. It says, what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. What messages do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages for Goddess do we have for Scorpio? Summer rising and Venus. All right, Scorpio. We have Angel of the Universe. It says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. What messages do we have for Pisces? Summer rising and Venus. What messages do we have for Pisces? Summer rising. All right, Pisces. We have Goddess of Awakening. It says this is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. For all of my water signs, we have God of Reflections as your underlying energy. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for December the 27th, 2019. Messages, guys, for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for December the 27th, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, December the 27th? 2019, what messages for guidance do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Six of Wands, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are moving to our victory. The Six of Wands talks about moving to our victory and success. We have the Strength card here, so some of you guys have found your strength here. I feel like you found your strength to face your fears or to face your, your shadow side. Um, with the uh, fire signs, they were having trouble. Some of you guys could be dealing with the fire signs because we got Leo here with the moon card or shadow. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been in the dark, but I feel like you found your power. Um, with the seven of cups here as the surrounding energy, I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. You are aware of this decision or you are aware. So with third, some of you guys know that someone's finding, whew. Now you could be in the space of moving toward victory you are aware that there's a choice that needs to be made, especially with awareness with the third eye chakra. These cards go hand in hand. So this is about you being aware of needing to trust your own vision. Let's clarify and see what's popping. So we have the power here or could be dealing with a Leo. Why is the strength card here? We have the what we have the sun card. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Sun card here, Three of Cups, Two of Swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it could be clear that there may be a third party that is creating an interference or blockage with the Three of Cups here. Um, with the Five of Cups, there's some regret or there's some disappointment surrounding that. For a lot of you guys, you may have been in suspension with the Hangman in your deck. You may have been in suspension, but not of once. I feel like you're finding your strength to overcome that. With the Shadow Self here or the Moon, Ten Pentacles here, I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with... Um, I don't want to say, well, you could have been dealing with, you could have been committed to an illusion um, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Moon card. Nine of Pentacles here, maybe due to some responsibilities around a situation. With the Two of Pentacles here, I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's Eight Pentacles. You could have been back and forth about whether you were investing into a situation, um, but I feel like with the strength, you found your strength to kind of move away from that. Eight Pentacles here, you could be investing into yourself now. Seven of Cups here with choosing wisely. Why is the Seven of Cups here? We have seven of swords. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be choosing to escape a situation. Um, there could also be some deception here around money. Seven of swords here with the five of pentacles. So for a lot of you guys, someone could have been lying about money or could have been lying because they were worried about making a decision with the eight of swords here, which could have created some interference. Um, but I feel like with the seven of wands, some of you guys are making a conscious, you got three sevens here. So this is a choice. This is a spiritual choice. I feel like some of you guys are making a conscious decision to do what is right for you. Awareness here, choosing to take action. Why is the magician here? You have the queen of swords. So you are choosing to take action by speaking your truth. Um, queen of cups here, that's Scorpio energy. You got Libra, Scorpio, and we have... Scorpio twice. So this could be a Scorpio here that could be deciding to make a decision, trusting your internal knowledge, trusting what you know to be true. But I feel like someone is being discerning and loving to self and making a decision based off that. This is pushing someone into making um, a judgment. 
With the Nine of Swords here, I feel like there may have been some anxiety about making a decision before, but I feel like you're deciding to move towards your own victory. Why is the Third Eye Chakra here? Why is the Third Eye Chakra here? We have the Hierophant. So I feel like for some of you guys, you know. Um, hmm. Six of Pentacles here. So I feel like you know either about some options either within a relationship someone could have options here could be dealing with the Taurus could be dealing with Capricorn here there could be some confusion here you need to trust what you know so for a lot of you guys there could be some deception here either surrounding money or someone could be trying to cause interference because they're having some worries I feel like you're having to trust your intuition you could be confused about a relationship maybe even having some fear but now you're trusting your decision to bring balance here by again investing into self high priestess most definitely so i feel like for a lot of you guys you're trusting what you feel within yourself and you could be allowing your concerns to fade away with the situation so that you can move forward so let's see here what messages we have i feel like you faced your fears and now you're aware of what needs to be done what messages do we have and write that down What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for God do we have? Whoa. Okay. Some of you guys are transforming a situation. It's a priority for you to transform a situation. What messages do we have? Okay. Give me guidance for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we have humility. So it says you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. Um, for some of you guys, you could have had a commitment that humbled you because you are aware that you and maybe whoever you're dealing with want the same thing. What messages do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have harmony. So Scorpio, it says you are able to feel a love and balance connection with everything. Again, this has to do with a commitment. So some of y'all are needing harmony in a commitment. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're gaining humility. Not, I'm saying you're, I'm not saying you're being humbled, but I feel like now you're looking at a situation from a humbling perspective um, because you're elevating, you're seeing now the bigger picture. What messages do we have here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages for guidance do we have for Pisces? All right, so we have detachment and evolution. Look at that. So we have, you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love and evolution. You will realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. For all of my water signs, we have purpose. It says you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. So for a lot of you guys, you're trying to figure out the purpose of these connections or this whatever you've been committed to. This is all I have, y'all. Until next time. Peace.